Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So it's again the first Saturday in a brand new month, which means that we have a brand new mission over on our Mission Inspiration Facebook group. Now the link to the Facebook group can be found in the description area below and on screen at the moment. So as per usual, there is a monthly mission brief which goes through all the prompts, the colour schemes and the words for inspiration and then the rest is up to you. So I'll show you the mission brief for the month of June and then I'll join with you again back at the end. Welcome Art Agent Specialists. Your mission for June, should you wish to accept it, is as follows. Step 1. Glue down paper or fabric fragments for texture. Step 2. Add texture paste through a stencil, optional. Step 3. Cover with a thin layer of paint or gesso. Step 4. Add a focal image or images. Step 5. Stamp script or add hand journaling. Step 6. Add washi tape or paper strips. Step 7. Make marks or add splatters. Step 8. Finish with a border or frame of your choice. Your colour scheme for June is blue, yellow and green. And your words for inspiration are hope, promise, meditate, grow or chance. Remember, this message will self-destruct in three seconds. Good luck. So step number one is to glue down paper and fabric fragments for texture. I'm going to be using my Believe in Magic Digi Collage set, which is available on my website now. I'm going to cut out all of the paper elements that I want to use to build up the background of my art journal page. And then I'm going to have a play and position them around once they're all cut out. Now that all my pieces are cut out, I'm going to just position them and play around with them so I've got the best kind of coverage for the background of my art journal page. So once I'm happy with where everything's going to go, I'm going to stick it down using the multi-purpose spirit glue from Colol. So that's pretty much step number one complete. So all I'll have to do now is just leave it to dry for a few seconds and then I can trim off all the excess paper from around the border of the page. So step number two is to add texture paste and putting it through a stencil is optional, but I've decided to use the Weird Science stencil from Indigo Blue and I'm using the modeling paste from 
Galleria or Windsor and Newton. Because this modelling paste is quite light, once it goes down through the stencil it almost becomes transparent. So I'm showing it to the camera but you can't really see it all that good. But it will pop when I start adding some more colour to the page. So I'm just going to quickly clean off my stencil and then I'm going to grab my heat gun and give the page a once over to make sure it's all completely dry before moving on. So step number three is to cover with a thin layer of paint or gesso. So I could have used any of the three suggested colours um, from the prompts, but I went with white gesso. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of gesso with some water and then just give the page a little bit of a whitewash. And as you can see, it does start catching and you do start to see those um, bumps, the circles from the stencil and the modelling paste. So if it looks as though I've put too much gesso on, don't forget that once it's dry, it will dry back a lot. So you will see more of the papers from underneath showing through. Step number four is to add a focal image or images. So I'm going to use the main focal point from my digi kits, which I'm just going to quickly trim out with a craft knife. And then I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and then just cut all the way around my bunny character, leaving just a couple of millimetres or about an eighth of an inch border all the way around. And once I've cut Mr Bunny out, I'm going to punch out the word magic from those typewriter keys, just using a one inch circle punch. So now that I have my main focal image and my typewriter keys all cut out, I'm going to stick them down onto my background just using the triangle collage glue stick from Ranger. So the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that I've not used any matte medium at all while I've been creating this art journal page. I've printed everything using an inkjet printer and they're not sealed. So I don't want to add any wet mediums over the top, that's going to cause the colours to run which is why I'm only using spirit glue and the collage glue sticks. And because I've not used any matte medium or anything to seal it down, I don't really need to get the heat gun out this time. So I'm ready to move on to the next step. So step number five is to stamp script or add hand journaling. I'm going to do both. So this is the Cornflower Blue Archival Ink from Ranger. And I'm using the Dinky Script Stamp from Indigo Blue. So I'm just going to stamp uh, around the page just using that lovely Cornflower Blue ink. So of course blue was a deliberate choice because I wanted to bring in some of those suggested colours from the suggested colour scheme on the prompts. So that was the stamping from step number five. Now I'm going to do some hand journaling just using the Pigma Micron number no. five archival ink pen from Sakura. I'm not going to add a lot of hand journaling, just a little bit on that bottom section above the word magic. Time to move on to step number six, which is to add washi tape or paper strips. So I've gone into my washi collection and I pulled out some washi tape that's green from the colour scheme. And the other washi tape has also got some elements of blue and green in there too. So it's a perfect match. There's also a little bit of pink in that washi tape too, but don't tell anyone. 
it does match because there is some pink showing through from the underpapers from the, uh, the digi kit that I started off with. So I'm happy with the placement of that washi tape on the page and I think the colours do complement nicely. So it's time to move on to number seven, which is to make marks or add splatters. So I'm going to make marks with some bubble wrap or as we call it in our house, Michael Buble wrap. And I've got the um, yellow, medium yellow acrylic paint from Reeves. And I'm just going to create some marks using that Buble wrap around the page. So I need to have that yellow paint all nice and dry before I can add any other colours. So out comes the heat gun and then it's time to add some more blue. This is the Cerulean Blue Hue acrylic paint from Reeves and I have another piece of Buble wrap and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing and add some more blue tones into and around the page. So happy with that blue? So all I need to do now is just to make sure it's all nice and dry before I do anything else, so out comes the heat gun. Before I move on to the final step in the prompt, I wanted to incorporate one of the phrases from that Art Journal Digi Kit that, um, that I showed you at the beginning. So I have one of the phrases here that I'm just cutting out with a pair of scissors. Now it is a little bit too big to fit where I want it to go, so I decide to trim it down even further and remove that border box all the way around and then just cut it shorter, closer to the edges of the letters. and that now fits a lot better. I can put it in a couple of different places. So I haven't quite decided where it's going to go just yet. So I want to add a little bit of a darker border to it because it had that black border to start off with. So I decided to bring out the Tree Branch Archival Ink and I have that ink blending foam. I'm just going to add a little bit of a dark border all the way around that word block. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to grab that triangle collage glue stick and then stick it down onto my page. But I decide to bring it further down and obscure a little bit of that hand journaling that I'd done already. It doesn't matter. I know what it says behind there. And don't forget, we're creating these art journal pages for ourselves. And as long as I know what it says, that's all that counts. So on to the final step, which is to finish with a border or a frame of your choice. Now because I'd already introduced some brown around the word block, I wanted to just grunge up and darken up the border all the way around the outside of my art journal page. I've also got some of those warm brownish tones in the typewriter keys, so this isn't going to look completely out of place. So I'm just going to blend some of that ink all the way around, and then I'm going to grab a black pen and then create an even darker border all the way around the page. So the pen that I'm using is the same one that I did the hand journaling with. So it's the Pigma Micron number no. five archival link pen. So I'm just going to create a scribbly border all the way around all four sides of my art journal page. And I love adding scribbly borders around my art journal pages because even if you have no artistic talent whatsoever, it doesn't really matter. You can still create a deliberately scribbly and messy border. So once I've gone around the once, I'm going to go around for a second time and add a second wiggly squiggly line. And at that point, I think, I think I'm done. 
So all I have to do is just quickly check off to make sure that I've incorporated as much as I can. So just checking to make sure I've done all of the eight steps. Yes, and I've incorporated all three colors. Perfect. This time I'm not using one of the words for inspiration because I already have one from the DigiKit. So all I've done now is signed and dated and mission accomplished. It's just so cute. I love that bunny. So remember, if you want to join in with the Mission Inspiration Facebook challenges monthly, and there's also some mini mid-month missions too, then all you have to do is to visit the link or click the link in the description area below and ask to join. It's all free. You can also uh, download and print off the Mission Pre-Brief prompts for this year and also for last year as well. They're all there, free to download and use as you wish. So I hope you enjoyed this mission inspiration from me. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, ch my YouTube channel, not your YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me, a very confused Mike, and I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.